morning, good morning. Welcome to CWM, Sealand uh, mini seminar. Today's topic is uh, one of our territorial reports. Uh, as you know, uh, <clears throat> we went down to uh, the Duluth and Savannah area in Georgia, and uh, I just want to uh, report uh, some the facts and uh, some overview uh, about what's going on in that area recently. Okay, uh, and uh, this trip, um, <clears throat> myself and uh, Savannah Yang, also known as Savannah Yang, actually Paul, Paul Yang, and also Michael Choi uh, went down there, and uh, we all came back. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, population and size, first of all. Well, Georgia is about, um, in terms of a population, is about 10 million. But as you know, census report is uh, somewhat uh, kind of uh, behind. Okay, it's not exactly the current uh, population, but mostly about 2021 uh, data. So Georgia is about, uh, has about 10.8 million, it's about 11 million population. And in terms of a size, it's about, um, about 60,000 square miles, okay? And that, if converted to acres, that's a 38.032 million acres. So, so basically 38 million acres. And uh, to compare with some other known territory, let's say South Korea. South Korea is, a, in terms of a square miles, it's a 38,000 square miles. And New Jersey is seven eight thousand seven hundred two twenty three square miles. So you can compare with the square miles. So <clears throat> New Jersey is uh, about uh, twice as big as uh, uh, twice big uh, uh, as South Korea. So about doubled, little short. Okay, in terms of uh, size. And New Jersey is 8,723 square miles. So about um, uh, four times, little over 4.5 times of New Jersey. That's South Korea. And um, it's about a um, uh, little less than uh, twice in terms of uh, uh, size, the Georgia whole state. Okay, and uh, the most concentrated area that we are interested in, Korean population concentrated in a uh, Gwinnett County. Uh, just you can imagine it's a Bergen County in New Jersey. So Georgia, a uh, Gwinnett County, the population is about 1 million, so 964,000 um, in 2021. And what about Duluth? Duluth, you can imagine, is Palisade Park. So you can, you can kind of uh, um, make a comparison, New Jersey versus uh, Georgia. Of course, size-wise, is much, much bigger. But Gwinnett County is, uh, you can compare with the Bergen County. And a lot of things, uh, they are similar. Uh, the school districts and uh, Korean population and etc. Of course, I'm talking about the good school district. And Duluth is um, 30, 33,454 uh, uh, population wise. And annually is average wise 1.6% increase rate in terms of population. And most recent census increased about 
So we can see the chart later. Now, what is the Korean population? Roughly it's about 10% of uh, Duluth population is, is, are Korean. So in terms of numbers, it's about 3,111 uh, Korean. And uh, white population is about 40%. And Asian is about 25%. So among 25%, uh, Korean is about 10%. Uh, that's about some stats about the uh, this uh, Duluth. Actually, the accent is the Duluth, uh, not Duluth, but the Duluth. Um, is a very interesting town. It's it's like becoming uh, more and more like a Korean town. There is uh, Asi Plaza, there is uh, uh, H Mart, um, <clears throat> but it's much wider. Uh, Palisade Park is very small, but it's much bigger. Uh, <clears throat> now, another area that we uh, are interested in is uh, Savannah. It's a Chatham County. Chatham County population is about 300,000. Uh, compared to uh, Gwinnett County is about uh, 1 million, so about three times. Gwinnett County has it about three times population. The Chatham uh, County um, <clears throat> is about 300,000 uh, population in 2021. The Korean population is only a little over 1,000. And I guess it's uh, increasing. Uh, we're going to talk about that. And what about in that county, Chatham County, there's a Savannah metropolitan area. Savannah, uh, the population is about 147,000. <clears> so you can compare with the Duluth. Duluth is uh, obviously uh, population wise much smaller, but uh, Savannah is much bigger. It's like a metropolitan, it's like a New York because it has a port, okay? Uh, seaport and it has a river. Um, we can we can see there's some maps. Okay, <clears throat> uh, from here maybe we can take a look at the map. Hey, did you see this map right now? The map, map point now, you go. Okay. The... Okay, this is a Savannah. As you can see this here. So Savannah metropolitan area is big. And uh, it has a, a, a river. And you can see this um, border. Okay, this is actually um, South Carolina. And then uh, across the river, uh, it's, it's, it's Georgia. And this this whole area is a savanna. So it's a big, a big uh, 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 sort of a metropolitan area. And versus. Um, You can see here's a Savannah and here Atlanta, Atlanta. And um, so this is about a five hours uh, driving distance. Okay, 75 south and 16 east. And around this area, uh, Atlanta area, see here is a Duluth. So 85, 285 is a circular, and 85 north is about, I would say less than one hour, about uh, 40 to 50 minutes driving. So this is Duluth, it becomes Korean town. 
And the next Korean town will be Suwani, right here. And uh, around this area, Johns Creek is a rich town. Uh, it's like uh, maybe Alpine in uh, Bergen County. Okay. So this is whole area is a Gwinnett County. All right, so let's go back to um, our presentation. Okay, so roughly you have some uh, area uh, sense. Now, next, uh, we want to talk about um, some interesting graph. Um, Duluth, Georgia population in 2023, uh, it's, about, it's about here, I guess. Can you take a look at this sharp increasing the line? So that's what uh, actually what's happening in uh, Duluth. Not many towns can have this kind of uh, population increase. As you know, um, uh, even 1.6% annual increase rate is also very good. Uh, as you know, uh, New York State is decreasing the population right now. Okay, a general overview. Um, of course, Georgia's symbol is a peach, peach tree. Um, 우리말로 뭐라 그러죠? 피치면은 복숭아. 살구는 아니죠. 복숭아입니다. 네, 복숭아. Okay. And population growing state, expanding uh, Korea towns, as I said, and uh, also container and transportation traffic increase to east coast from west coast. I think we had this news brief before. So Savannah Port is uh, very important, the Savannah and uh, Charleston, and of course, New York, New Jersey. So East Coast, um, this container traffic is increasing. And uh, LA side is decreasing. And Atlanta, Georgia, uh, is famous for uh, CNN and uh, also headquarters of Coca-Cola. Uh, I was there in the museum and also had a quarter of UPS is their most favorable state to start up businesses. And a low tax for senior. Uh, and um, they, uh, uh, they exempt um, the education tax. So for senior, they don't have to pay a majority of property tax because as you know, uh, the salt, the local tax is a town, the municipality uh, tax is about 80 to 90% is education uh, expense. So uh, they exempt um, the education tax. So they pay only 5 to 10% max uh, for the property tax. So that's a good thing about it. And uh, generally, no snow, uh, very mild weather. Uh, this trip, um, I was um, <clears throat> visiting uh, the potential, our office space, and um, all of a sudden I asked, what about uh, uh, snow removal? As, as uh, uh, you know, our, our uh, custom. And uh, the showing agent was really surprised. He could not answer about um, snow removal. But anyway, there is no snow and uh, plenty of lands to be developed. That's uh, Georgia. And also uh, very famous uh, schools, Emory, uh, Georgia Tech, and SCAD. SCAD is, um, <clears throat> what is a SCAD? It's, um, uh, <clears throat> it's a very famous uh, design school. And um, the main campus is in Savannah, but also um, campus in um, Atlanta. And of course, Hyundai, Kia, SK Battery uh, factories, and Kumho is a fair, favorable to Korean uh, corporation as well. Let's look at other uh, issues here. Uh, the big news right now is Paradise for big corporation, especially Korean corporations. As you know, um, Hyundai Meta plant in Savannah. Uh, this is a big news right now. It's 
we went there, this trip, it's about 3,000 acres. It's very hard to imagine one factory site uh, size-wise, the 3,000 3, acres. Uh, it's very hard to imagine, but we've been there uh, this trip. I can show you some pictures, and it will create about 8,100 employment. It's a huge impact. And local people are already um, saying a lot of, um, you know, things. Uh, <clears throat> And uh, the capacity is about 300,000 uh, EVs annual, um, annually. As you know, Tesla's Shanghai plant has a capacity of 750,000 vehicles annually. And, uh, <clears throat> and this is being used uh, locally. And what about Hanhua? Recently, uh, they uh, announced uh, Q-Cell, Hanwha's brand name is Q-Cell's factory in Dalton. Okay, you can see some map later on, and they can produce the solar panels. Now, Dalton area is, uh, is the northern part of New Jersey. It's a $2.5 million investment uh, at the 75 acres. And it has a capacity of 1.7 gigawatts capacity. And uh, this is the same as this 1.7 gigawatt capacity is the same as the peak power output of Hoover Dam, that much, um, that, that much uh, capacity. And another town is Cartersville. It's much bigger, 321 acres, and the capacity would be 3.3 gigawatts. Uh, you can imagine this 300 acres, uh, recently, we had the news, uh, Netflix is coming to New Jersey, right? Net Netflix uh, main studios, uh, that's about 300 acres, and the fourth mammoth area. So New Jersey is also, um, that is a good news for the New Jersey. And another company also um, went down uh, is KISS. It's a nearby Hyundai uh, Meta plant. And they invested 121 million investment, and uh, they will create for about 400 new jobs. And it's 370,000 uh, square feet warehouse they're going to build. Of course, uh, recently, kids, they built their own building uh, in Long Island. Okay, so they're expanding. And now they are top three in U.S. in terms of a cosmetic um uh, product, uh, the manufacturers. Okay, this some pictures I want to share. Uh, this is a Hyundai factory site. Uh, of course, this is just a rendering, but you can imagine this is huge, 3,000 acres. There's another pictures. And we took some pictures this time. This is actually um, actual site. And um, some uh, <clears> of <throat> uh, the mobile homes for the um, constructors uh, right now, construction workers. Uh, this gentleman is very famous um, figure in uh, Savannah. He is Taekwondo Sabomnim uh, Guanjangnim. He did about 40 years. So in Savannah area, a lot of area, different area politicians and uh, businessmen is out of this uh, Taekwondo Tojang. Okay, so uh, he has a lot of good contacts. And actually, this uh, Mr. Lee contacted Sabana Yang. And then uh, they started um, relationships. Okay, um, I'm going to show why he called Mr. Yang. But anyway, another picture is, is a really um, welcoming um, ceremony, in a sense, uh, to uh, Georgia. This is um, news media, Savannah Times and Alabama Times CEO, and some attorneys, some uh, mortgage. This uh, thing you remember, Mr. O. He uh, he came uh, to New Jersey office, our office, and did a seminar on the buy down program. And Michael is here, and um, and this is the uh, picture of uh, 
3,000 acres. I never been in uh, like a one sort of a, a set of a lot, 3,000 acres. Okay, and um, this is um, Hanhua Q cell site, Solar Hof. Okay, uh, right here probably this is Joe, uh, Savara area, right? And uh, maybe Atlanta is right here. And Duluth is nearby, Duluth. And here is Dalton. And underneath is Cartersville. Okay. So as he says, is the solar hub, these two towns. And so you can see that um, the... Um, the solar module capacity is 1.7 gigawatt, and uh, Carter's bill is much bigger. That's uh, one uh, 3.3 3 gigawatts. So um, another news said they will take care of these two uh, locations. Solar Hub will take care of about um, close to 20% of all uh, electricity supply in U.S. Uh, that would be an uh, amazing story. Okay, this is uh, uh, the next slice is the Kiss Warehouse rendering uh, pictures. Okay, what about sea land? Uh, so then, so so what? Uh, what what do we do uh, in that area? Uh, so far, I just want to report the sea land uh, realty presence in the area. Uh, first of all, uh, daily newspaper, we have a full color uh, page ad. I'm going to show you later, but actually you can see now. Uh, this is a company ad, and this is um, Savannah Yang's individual advertisement in daily newspaper, full page uh, color. And also online newspaper uh, called Alabama Times and Savannah Times. Also, we put the uh, banner. So basically they click. So right now, I think if they click, they connect it to our website. And, um, and uh, we have a GA uh, teams right now. Of course, Savannah Yang and um, Michael Choi and Jin Guso. Uh, Michael and Jingu already applied the Georgia license. And uh, this trip, uh, one of our accomplishment is uh, we secured a, uh, a uh, room. Um, so roommate space arrangement in a house in Duluth. So we don't have to any team members uh, go to um, Georgia. They don't have to go to hotel. Okay. So company provided this uh, this room and uh, so at least um, there's some place that you can sleep and, and maybe you can work out of that space because the internet is easily available. And another accomplishment or resolution is Savannah Yang's plan to relocate to Savannah. So um, Savannah Yang is going to move to uh, Savannah. And he looked at the house to buy. It's a brand new house. It's about uh, less than one hour um, from uh, Savannah metro area. And uh, unbelievable is only 219000 uh, if I'm correct. So it's a, it's a brand new house. Uh, it's a duplex, but it's a, a ranch style duplex. I never seen a ranch style duplex, brand new house. And um, I was there this time and interviewing uh, potential agents and uh, DBs and um, also looking into a Duluth office leads. Now, what we're trying to do right now is connecting clients who want to relocate to Georgia, either uh, buying business uh, or a house or commercial buildings in Georgia area, both the Duluth and the Savannah. So like uh, people from New Jersey and New York to Duluth or the Savannah relocation, or the people from Duluth to the Savannah, 
okay, or the people from Alabama to Savannah, because Savannah is right now is a big, big splash in terms of uh, everything, a real estate, um, business, uh, because um, the economic impact of Hyundai is uh, the local people um, talking about this big, is much bigger than Alabama, a Kia factory, Hyundai factory. And um, also we want to co-work with other brokerages because we are sort of a frontier in Georgia area. I mean, from uh, uh, New Jersey and New York. So we want to uh, also have a co-work relationship with other brokerage company. If you know um, these clients who want to uh, relocate, or if you know other agents who has a, a client, also we can... Uh, uh, co-work together. We can spend a little more time if uh, Michael and Savannah Yang and Jin Guso want to add something. Uh, let's do that. Uh, anything I missed or you want to add? Savannah Yang? Do you still? Yes. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. 아, 제가 뭐, 어, 애드한다면, <웃음> 어, 최근에 이제 같이 가서, 그, 어, 함께 들은 이야기지만, 그, 그쪽에 있는, 어, 기존 둘루스나 수아니 쪽에 있는, 어, 부동산들이, 어, 각각 나름대로, 어, 한국의 기업체들, 진출한 기업체들부터 이제 인디비주얼리, 그, 콜을 받고 있는 것 같아요. 일단 이제 어, 이분들이 그 현대 사이트에서 어, 렌트가 지금 턱없이 모자라니까 일단 그 현대는 어, 회사 룰이 집을 못 사게 그렇게 일단 금지시켰기 때문에 그 대신에 어, 렌탈 어, 피를 어, 약 3천 불 가까이 무상 지급하니까 아, 렌트를 얻어라. 이렇게 해서 이제 저한테 들어와 있는 게 지금 한 여덟 개가 준비되어 있어요. 렌트 구에다 할게요. 그 다음에, 어, 모 부동산에서는 이미 그 한화, 저쪽 북쪽에 한화 때문에 한 10개를 최근에 그 클론을 했습니다. 그 중에는 이제, 20개, 어, 한화 같은 경우 뭐 그런, 어, 20. 그 중에는 집을 사겠다고 하는 분도 직접 계시고요. 사실, 어, 엘라바마에도 보면은요. 렌트비 주는 거 아까우니까 그걸 다른 사람 이름으로 목에 사가지고 거기에 렌트로 들어가는 것처럼 그렇게 보통 그래서 사실은 자기죠. 근데 이제 어, 다행히 조자에 자기 아는 패밀리나 지인이 있을 경우에 가능한데 그 이름으로 이제 집을 아예 사버려가지고 세를 넣는데 나중에 이제 아, 3년이고 얼마 있을 때 이제 집을 파서 10만 불 이상, 20만 불 이렇게 챙기는 걸 봤거든요. 그래서 그런 일도 좀 있을 거고. Anyway, 그렇게, 그, 저, 뭐, 폭발적으로, 어, 리스팅을 이제, 아, 좀 우리가 다 가지고 있는 그런 집들을 우리 그 광고 통해서 홍보해서 확보해 놓으면 투자하는 데는 아무런 문제가 없다. 지금 현재 그렇게 되고 있습니다. 네, 지금 저 우리 양준하님, 폴 양, also known as a Savana 양님 말씀해 주셨습니다. 음, 또 다른 뭐 애들 그 있으시면은 지금 잠깐 해주시고 시간이 좀 지나서 어 조금 하나만 더 애들면요. One, I just want to um, add one story. Uh, recently, as you know, December, the uh, Savannah Yang actually closed two houses in uh, Savannah area. And uh, one of them already, uh, we found the tenant. And of course, it's a Hyundai executive. And um, just uh, immediately right after closing, it's, it's gone. So I, I heard from Savannah Yang said um, about eight applicants all Hyundai um, employees. And um, the, I believe it's a three bedroom house. It's um, uh, $2,800 per month. Okay, so that's the situation. And uh, we're gonna talk about the, um, 
the commission structure, the um, tenant brokers commission versus the listing brokers commission is much different from New York, New Jersey. So, but anyway, uh, we have a time limit. So we want to um, conclude uh, this um, today's presentation. Okay, so um, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, also you got some, um, some news from uh, the Georgia and Savannah area, uh, the fresh news. Okay, so uh, thank you for joining. See you all next week.